Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most important books which you should be reading for the CSIR NET examination. I'll try to discuss every possible book which you should be reading. Also, at the same time, I will discuss about the books which are in the format format of let's say guide or notes, and you can read that. But before that, you should be having a proper understanding of the whole subject. So let's move forward. <clears throat> first of all let's talk about the sub uh, the syllabus of the examination so there are to in total there are 13 units unit molecules and their interaction relevant to biology that is biochemistry cellular organization fundamental processes that is molecular biology which is having replication repair and processes like this cell communication and cell signaling then developmental biology this encompasses immunology as well then developmental biology then system physiology plant Basically, plant physiology, which encompasses photosynthesis uh, and for phytohormones and things like that. Then animal physiology, which is having all the systems which are there in case of animals. Then inheritance biology, which is also known as genetics. Then diversity of life forms. This is a very, uh, I can say, diverse sort of unit because there is no syllabus as such there is no specific things as such which we can read about this particular unit then there, there is ecology or ecological principles then evolution and behavior then applied biology methods in biology so these are the main uh, units of our syllabus which which are there in the in our syllabus so there uh, i should say that uh, so i can say that there are two ways in which i can tell you that you should be reading uh, for you for this particular exam first is that you can read the books the complete books about the particular topic let's say you will see the syllabus and in syllabus there are sub sub topics or sub pointers accordingly you can select one one topic and you can go for a particular book and read it from there okay now this is for the for the people for the uh, for the kind of people who are having a lot of time and they have just started their preparation in uh, let's say bachelor's or master's initial in initial phase of their master's this is not for somebody who is just having one month or two month uh, in, in their examination so if you are in your bachelor's you should be reading this way this is a very authentic manner that is this is a very elaborative manner as such in this way you will be learning concepts as well as uh, the particular that particular uh, let's say factual information as well you will be grasping secondly you should be taking on notes uh, notes which can be of any coaching institute of uh, of uh, let's say any book which is providing uh, you notes and you can refer that particular thing so first of all let's talk about the first unit which is biochemistry the first book which i'll tell you is stryer very good book then there is white and white and you all know the one name that is leninger so all of these books are amazingly uh, good or brilliant i can say it completely depends upon your perception how you perceive the knowledge from a particular information or a book because uh, every individual have a different perspective perspective and um, the way you perceive things is very very different from the other particular individual so uh, according to you whatever you like just go uh, let's say you took you pick a topic and you try to read it from one book there are books which really simplify the topics and then there are books which give you a lot of knowledge and simplification as well so just uh, set your priorities right and act accordingly okay then the second unit is cellular organization so molecular biology of the cell which is bruce elberts let's say then prescott's microbiology then molecular biology which is lordish uh, uh, like uh, Lord, lordish the book is Lord, the, the, the author is lordish and then there are many more as well so these are the three books which you can refer to for unit two then comes unit three again for unit three it's watson james t watson then bruce elberts also you can refer for this particular unit also carp is a very uh, lordish is a very good book then carp is also a very good book again okay 
then comes a uh, unit 4 which is cell signaling so carp again carp cell and molecular biology see uh, unit 2 3 4 these are the three units which are almost present in all the books which you will be like one book you can take and you can read all the three uh, units from one particular one single book so you need not go for different different books for these three topics these these three units just stick to one particular thing also if you are not liking let's say uh, you want some particular topic let's say you want a uh, replication you want a particular uh, enzyme in replication and you have seen that this is not uh, present in one book so definitely you can uh, change your source and read other book as well okay but try to limit yourself when you are reading when you're sticking uh, try to stick to one source one book and if you are not getting if you're not getting the concept if you're not getting the topic information then go then move to some other book okay so molecular biology of the cell again Alberts. then qb's immunology again a bible uh, like of uh, likewise uh, leningers okay then comes unit 5 which is developmental biology uh, so jmw slack is a very good book but uh, we all know that gilbert is like bible of for, in the case of developmental biology then principles of development for lewis wolpert and uh, like uh, shell tickle again this book is a very good book again so you can refer to uh, these three books in case of developmental biology then comes plant physiology so taze and zeiger is the best book for plant physiology but there are a few topics which are missing in this particular book so you can refer to walter styles as well as you can refer to william g hopkins as uh, uh, as well but uh, the top that the, the way in which it's given the information is given in taze uh, in taze and zeiger it is like unmatchable okay so uh, first you refer taze and zeiger and then go to any other unit or any other book then comes animal physiology so it's guyton uh, and hall uh, textbook of medical physiology a very good book then wonders human physiology again a very very good book so you can refer these two then comes uh, unit 8 genetics peter j russell very good book uh, particularly i just love this book benjamin amazing book for genetics if you are somebody who is very hesitant to read genetics who is very afraid of genetics go for this book this book this will clear your concept in a very very good manner okay so you can definitely uh, just try to read from this book once and you will fall in love with this book i can particularly say then there is nut uh, stead and Smul, uh, simmons so this is principle of genetics again a very very good book for genetics okay so these are the three books which you can read for genetics then for unit 9 which is diversity i will not say that uh, a particular unit will uh, a particular book will do so uh, for this i will suggest that previous year questions is the best source you go for previous year questions and whatever type of questions are being asked for this particular unit first you try to read it from books second you can google the information you can uh, ask the information from google and just try to make a note of uh, informations that are being given so let's say type of larva and things like that so various type of information is giving being given uh, try to uh, see things which are repeated okay at least un chizo ko uh, you can uh, read it from either book or google or anywhere whatever way you like then there is unit 10 which is ecology for ecology i personally love peter styling very good book amazing amazing book then uh, apart from that uh, odom is again a very good book and then michael began is again a very very good book but first number i'll give to this particular book is an amazing book okay uh, then comes unit 11 which is evolution for evolution there is markedly uh, okay uh, like you can see it here and then there is veer bala rastogi uh, it's an indian book and it is a very good very good book i have read it the read, read this particular book in my i think bachelor's or something like that or maybe um 12th class i'm not sure but this is a good book this is an amazing book you can particularly read, uh, you can like uh, read this book okay then comes unit 12 and 13 so unit 12 and 13 is, are somewhat overlapping in manner okay and um, we can say ki uh, for this particular for these for these two units there are a lot of things which are 
in common again a lot of things which are uh, very technical in nature so the, these two units are very much technical in nature you need to uh, read a lot of techniques to get a grasp of these two units okay so first i will suggest weaver weaver amazing book so it is having a lot of examples it is having a lot of questions so first they give you knowledge then they will ask you a particular question based upon experiment and most of the questions are experimental in nature so they they'll keep tickling your brain and mind and that way it will give you a Uh, amazing sort of conceptual clarity okay then there is wilson and walker amazing book and then there is primrose uh, again there is one more book that, that is ta brown so these are the four books just try to go like try to see the syllabus first you see the syllabus then you'll see the sub topic try to find that particular topic in the in these four books in whatever book you'll find that read it there from there if you'll not uh, get, get the grasp Uh, for uh, about that particular topic you will not understand that topic then we want to the other book okay but if you want a real sort of conceptual clarity go for with uh, weaver weaver if you want experiment based questions and things like that go for weaver all right so these are the 13 like uh, uh, these are the main major books for these 13 units apart from that if you want a sort of notes so i can say you can uh, refer to various notes various notes of various coachings i can say so first is let's say uh, if you are following an academy an academy or an academy we are providing you various sort of notes Uh, uh, for all the all the units, you can refer to an academy's notes or like educators if you are on Plus platform. Second, uh, there is Pathfinder books. Pathfinder books again a very good uh, note sort of compilation sort of there. And I only know about these two uh, personally, so I can tell you about these two. So if you are a student who is on Plus, you are you have nothing to worry about. You do not have to worry about anything. You can directly refer to the notes. And if you are somebody who is not having a Plus uh, Uh, pl platform was not on, on the plus platform then definitely you can refer to the pathfinder notes for if you really want some sort of notes in a crux format if you have read these books and then you want some sort of notes so, uh, sort of thing definitely you can uh, go for uh, pathfinder books okay so these are the major things i i wanted to tell you i hope you have liked the video take care everyone we'll see you in the next video and subscribe the channel like the video share with your friends and bye bye